Hello and welcome back to New York Outcast. I was watching Pew Pew Park's video of his Smith & Wesson M&P Compact today and I noticed he had some trouble with a certain ammo from CCI, uh, some type of copper, copper or something, I don't know. Um, Nealis Estate uh, got me thinking, so obviously some of you may know I have one. I uh, haven't had any issues with it or anything like that, so I figured I would break it out today and try a few different ammunitions with it. So, I believe I have eight here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight different ammunitions. So, we're going to run through these and give them a try. Uh, I'm going to basically go here from uh, left to right. So, I'll start off here with the Federals. As you can see is a uh, 36 grain let's see the value pack and then we'll jump to blazer and over to cci or sorry winchester 333 pack uh, again all bulk packs that's what i try to buy and have the best luck with or have good luck with um, never have too much of an issue the blazer is the first time actually running that so that's a mystery to me uh, i have this uh aguilera here uh, so we'll give that a try these which i can't stand the 22 thunderbolts by remington um so i if i had to guess that's where our problem would lie but we will see and then we jumped up to a little bit hotter ammo Actually, these are the mini mags um, by CCI, CCI Stingers. Uh, that's where we're jumping up a little hotter. Looks like we are 1640. And then we had the Winchester Super X, which is 1435. So that's basically uh, what I'm going to test out here today. Uh, if you're interested, stick around. I'm going to run 10 rounds. Uh, have each brand and we'll see what happens so again uh, the blazers new to me um, I don't think I've tried the 22 or the Thunderbolts through, through this uh, again Aguilera I haven't tried not through this and I haven't ran any of this Winchester through it yet either so I really have no idea how this is going to play out so all right let's see what happens
So, out of all these different ammunitions today, Federal, Blazer, Winchester, Aguilera, which I'm sure I'm screwing up, 22 Thunderbolt, CCI Mini Mags, CCI Stingers, Winchester Super X, everything worked. Uh, this thing just ate it all. So that does build my confidence a little bit in some of my ammo purchases and uh, obviously the purchase of the firearm. Uh, everybody's a little different, but I prefer guns like this. Guns that can do that, uh, especially in times like this where ammo isn't necessarily the easiest to find. Or if you can find it, is it your normal brand? So... Uh, some of these aren't, to be honest. I normally would run with the Winchester or the, the Federal. Um, I do stock some CCI or keep some on hand, but due to the price, uh, the majority of the 22 I buy is Federal or Winchester. So um, this is uh, an experiment for me, which thankfully worked out well. Uh, if anybody has any interest, hopefully uh, this might help uh, make a decision for you. So, uh, Pew Pew Park, I think uh, just the ammo you were running in that thing, obviously, is, is no good. So, uh, I would definitely uh, stick to, you know, something or this variety, preferably not those. I think we just got lucky with those today. Um, the manual does state you can use a hypervelocity. It states, uh, obviously, use of hypervelocity ammo will... Um, proceed to natural wear of your parts so keep that in mind um, I normally don't shoot the hotter stuff uh, so uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue and being Smith and Wesson I'm not too concerned but uh, that is something to keep in mind if you are trying this with a different firearm I would definitely check your manual and not exceed the limits of the tool you're using so uh, thanks for joining me and have a great day